My parents have lived in their Victorian terraced house on the East Yorkshire coast for 28 years. It's four stories high with spacious rooms and some original characteristics, such as a large stone fireplace and arched alcoves. It really was a lovely place to grow up and spend my informative years with my two sisters. I'm the middle child, which apparently explains a lot. Not sure if that's meant to be a compliment. We're quite close in age. The eldest is a year and a half older and the youngest is 10 months my junior. The small age gap meant that we were very close to each other. So naturally, we squabbled and had disagreements over literally anything. But one thing we all seemed to agree on was the experience of an uneasy feeling on the second floor landing. My mum has always loved ghost hunting shows. So when a friend of hers invited her on a real life ghost investigation a few years ago, she agreed. She was scared shitless and she loved it. So she invited the team to our house to investigate whilst my dad was spending his usual Wednesday evening at the pub. My sisters and I had all moved out at this point and had no idea that she had invited her ghost crew and a medium. We hadn't really talked about any paranormal experiences we may or may not have had as children, so a revelation by the medium really did come as a shock. My mum told us that the medium had picked up on the spirit of a little boy who haunted the toilet at the top of the first floor stairs. Bit of a random location to haunt, but each to their own. She said that the little boy was sad that the girls had all gone, as he had no one to play with anymore. The funny thing is, when I was a child, I always got the feeling of being chased past the toilet on my way up to the bedroom. I'd always get this scared, panicky feeling and would run up the next set of stairs as fast as I could, not daring to look over my shoulder to see if anyone was there. I said this to my mum and my sisters, and was surprised to hear that they had both had the same sensation growing up. They too had felt the need to run away from… something. We had all felt the presence of the little boy, but none of us had mentioned it to the other because we felt stupid feeling scared of a toilet. I still get the feeling today whenever I visit home for the weekend. But now I know he's there and just wants to play. I sometimes shout. Bet I can beat you to the top of the stairs! <laughs>